on a pain scale of one to 10, I will never give myself a 10. for the week and surprisingly I actually got a fair amount of stuff done um, I guess in regards to my business like catching up some things that I wanted to do yesterday and getting all of these done because when I'm really not feeling well I'll just not do them for the week and I'll like put them in every day every night I'll do it for like the next day and it's like late at night and I'm like ah. so I'm really glad these are finished and I did a lot of messaging on Facebook I really wanted to go live on Facebook today because I need to but I just was like other than the fact that my hair is going bonkers because Let's be honest, I haven't washed it since <clears throat> tomorrow's my shower day, so let's just, let's not count the days, shall we? So, I haven't done anything like that, but the thing about being in a ton of pain is there's a couple aspects to it. The first aspect is when you're in pain, like you have more energy. Like it's weird. Basically your adrenal glands just like give you this adrenaline because you have to like fight through the pain. So you have this extra boost going. So sometimes when um, I'm acting really, really well or just really talkative and like doing a lot or whatever, my mom will ask me how I'm doing and now she kind of knows and I'll be like, I'm in so much pain, mom. And she's like, yeah, I figured. I also do things to distract myself from the pain. So I will talk to people and I will do other things just to distract myself because it can get really bad. But it's not as bad today as, I, as I've had it. Like I've had worse pain. It can always be worse. I'll say this is the sickest I've ever been or this is the most pain I've ever been in, but on a pain scale of one to 10, I will never give myself a 10 because it can always get worse. So like when they ask me in the ER or something or the doctors and like they're kind of a little more interested and you feel like you can kind of talk a little, I'll, I just say I never give a 10 because it can always get worse versus some people just do use tens which is fine but for me in my life it does get worse and the pain that I've experienced the physical pain has gotten worse the past year and a half two years it's just gotten worse and probably a lot of that has to do with my Ehlers-Danlos syndrome chronic that can cause a lot of chronic pain and that can also flare up my Lyme when my Lyme can flare up my EDS and Lyme causes crazy chronic pain, but um, EDS really comes on generally when you're in your early 20s. And since I'm turning 24 next month, actually, in about almost exactly a month, because today is the 15th and I turn on the 18th of October. Wow. So yeah, it's gotten worse, but it makes sense. And the thing is too, you get better at coping. I don't know why I'm talking about pain because this is not the most pleasant topic. But you guys, I am so tired. I I probably don't look that bad, but I've had a fever for most of the day and it's just I had a wonderful time.
time yesterday, but it's just when I exert myself, I pay for it dearly. So I have to like weigh, is this gonna be worth it? And it was worth it, it's worth it, um, but I'm gonna be paying for it probably for at least the rest of the day, probably all day tomorrow, probably some into Monday. And I'm not sleeping well, that makes the pain worse. So I'm not sleeping because the pain is waking me up. And anyway, it's just kind of a snowball effect. Earlier, I was just swamping further and further and further and further and further into my bed and more and more and more and more. <laughs> Cause I, I couldn't. And then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna say hi to the people. And hi people. <laughs> I'm trying to get my happy smiley Anna face. Sometimes it doesn't smile as well or joke as well, but that does not mean that it's not inside me, okay? There's always something positive. I actually spoke to the radiology nurse. We went through, obviously, it's just like a, any procedure. Unfortunately, I've done this many times. Where to come, where to park, what time, what your meds are, what your height is, what your weight is, um, your allergies to, you know, whatever's, and then meds, and then um, your, like, your, like, medical condition, like, asthma, and so she's not sure if they're going to use any dye. She asked me if I had active asthma, and I said, yeah, so she's going to check. And if they do plan to use dye, like contrast to see and make sure everything's in place, then they will give me a call on Monday and they do like a preventative asthma where I think she said like it's like Benadryl and prednisone or something. I don't think they're going to give me any type of sedation. They didn't before. Um, it shouldn't be anything... But she just wants to make sure I'm not going to eat or drink after midnight just in case. And I'm going to stop my tube feeds also at midnight just in case. It's always like that. Just in case. Drink a little water to take your meds. <laughs> oh man, have I gone through this before? I think I need to rest the rest of the night. Then have a little bit to eat. I'm really not hungry right now, but I do need to eat and not eat too late. This whole Miralax thing is hard to figure out. I'm hoping that with a few more days of doing it twice a day, this is only like my second day, so. I'll do that, and then I'll get some food, noodles, and then I will hook up to my lactated ringer, and that will help me detox. I'll run that bowl list, and then there is so much information that I just told you. My arm is like, can't even hold up the camera. And I can't do it with my left arm because my left side of my body is like super weak and my left hand doesn't, it would probably drop the phone. It would drop you guys and you would fall and crash and burn. So I really need to put my arm down so I'm gonna have to say see you later. been a really long day it feels like and I'm exhausted but I have food and I'm drinking and I'm continuously eating <laughs> I'm always hooked up to something it's so fun 
Um, no, I have no complaints whatsoever about that. I'm thankful. So I'm going to do that and, uh, oh, and more Miralax. I have more Miralax because that's what you do when you got to keep things moving along or should I say get the moving along like come on train you gotta move like hello anyway all that to say that I will um <laughs> can't even speak you guys I'm so tired goodbye good night I will see you super soon bye